Titus Andronicus, Act 5, Scene 1. We're in the final act. Aaron is captured by Lucius and his army of Goths. After Lucius swears to protect the baby, Aaron confesses to the series of horrors he has committed. When the messenger from Saturninus arrives, Lucius agrees to come to Rome to meet with the emperor. Approved warriors and my faithful friends, I have received letters from great Rome which signifies what hate their ba they bear their emperor. So Lucius wants to take over, right? And how desirous of our sight they are. Therefore, great lords, be as your t t titles witness, imperious and impatient of your wrongs. And wherein Rome hath done you any scathe, let him make treble satisfaction. Here's the goth, right? Brave slip sprung from the great Andronicus, whose name was once our terror, now our comfort, whose high exploits honorable deeds and grateful Rome requits with foul contempt. Be bold in us. Will follow where thou leadest, like stinging bees in the hottest summer's day, led by their master the flowered fields, and be avenged on cursed Tamora. And as he saith, we are we are with him. I humbly thank him, and I thank you all. But who comes here led by a lusty goth? And we have the goths who have captured Aaron and the child here. Uh, Renowned Lucius, from our troops I strayed to gaze upon a ruinous monastery, and as I earnestly did fix my eye upon the wasted building, Suddenly I heard a child cry underneath a wall. I made unto the noise when soon I heard the crying babe controlling with this discourse. Peace, half me and half thy dame, did not thy true hue beray, whose brat thou art, had nature lent thee but thy mother's look. Villain, thou mightest have been an emperor, but where the bull and cow are both milk white. Uh, peace, villain, peace. For I must bear thee to the trusty goss. It, it says, you know, he overhears Aaron talking to the to the baby here, right? Who, when he knows that thou art spade, will hold thee dearly for thy mother's sake. Will this, my weapon drawn, I rushed upon him, surprised him suddenly, and brought him hither to use as you think needful demand. So this is, they captured Aaron and the baby. O worthy Goth, this is the incarnate devil. So they think of Aaron as the devil. That robbed Andronicus of his good hand. This is the pearl that pleased your empress eye, and here's the base fruit of her burning lust. Uh, whether wouldst thou convey this growing image of the fiend-like face, why dost thou speak what death not a word? A halter soldiers hang him on this tree, and by his side his fruit of bastardry. And here's Aaron again. Again, you know, Aaron is this duplicitous, evil character, but he's so guardful, this baby. And I think it just changes, the, you know, touch not the boy, he is of royal blood. To like the sire forever being good, first hang the child that he may see it sprawl, a sight to vex his father's soul withal. Uh, right here. Uh, a ladder is brought, which Aaron is made to climb. Lucius, save the child, and bear it from me to the empress. If thou do this, I'll show thee the wondrous things that highly may advantage thee to hear. I'll tell you everything what happened. Spare my child, and I'll tell you all. I'll confess everything. If thou will not befall what may befall, I'll speak no more, but vengeance rot you all. Say on, if it please me which is to speak, the child shall live, and I will see it nourished. And, and again, you know, this is like the only sympathy throughout the whole play here toward a child, right? And if it please thee, why assume thee, Lucius, to vex thy soul to hear what I shall speak? For I must, and here's the play writ large, here's the play. For I must talk of murders, rapes, and massacres, acts of black night, abominable deeds, complots of mischief, treason, villainies, ruthful to hear, yet piteously performed, and this shall all be buried in my death, unless, you, unless thou swear to me, my child shall live. You swear to me to protect this child, and I'll tell you. Tell on thy mind, I say the child shall live. Swear. And Aaron, he's like, you better swear, and then I'll begin. Who should I swear by? Thou believest no God. That granted, how canst thou believe an oath? What if I do not, as indeed I do not? Yet, for I know thou art religious, and has a thing within thee called conscience, with twenty popish tricks and ceremonies which I have seen thee careful to observe. Therefore I urge thy oath, for that I know an idiot holds his bauble for a god, and keeps the oath which by God he swears. To that I'll urge him, therefore thou shalt vow by that same god what god so it be, that thou adorest and has in reverence to save my boy." To nourish and bring him up, or else I will discover not thee. I'll tell you nothing. Even by my God, I swear to thee, I will. So Lucius swears to protect the child. And Aaron, okay, okay, you know, I begat him on the empress. <laughs> right? 
to, this is Tamora's baby. Oh, most insatiate and luxurious woman. Tut, Lucius, this was but a deed of charity to which thou shalt hear of me anon. Twas her two sons that murdered Bassianus. You know, Chiron and Demetrius, they cut thy sister's tongue and ravished her, raped her, cut her hands and trimmed her as thou sawest. O oh, detestable villain, callest that thou trimming? Why, she was washed and cut and trimmed, and twas trim sport for them which had the doing of it. O oh, barbarous villain like themselves, indeed I was their tutor to instruct them. That cotting spirit had they from their mother, as sure a cart as ever one to set, that bloody mind I think they learned of me, as true a dog as ever fought a head. Well, let my deeds be witness of my worth. I train. Here's Aaron, you know, my foul deeds. Thy brethren in that guileful hole where the dead corpse of Bassianus lay. I wrote the letter that the father found and hid the gold within that letter mentioned, confederate with the queen and her two sons, and what had not done that thou hast caused to rue, wherein I had no stroke of mischief in it. I prayed the cheater for thy father's hand, and when I had drew myself apart and almost broke my heart with extreme laughter, I pried me through the crevice of a wall. When for his sons he had his two sons' heads, beheld his tears, and laughed so heartily that both my eyes were rainy like to his, and when I told the empress of this sport, she sounded almost at my pleasing tale, and for my tidings gave me twenty kisses. This is what Aaron has done. This is all he did, right, for the play. That's a kind of recap of the play. What canst thou say all this and never blush? I like a black dog, as the saying is. Art thou not sorry for these heinous deeds? And here's Aaron's, you know... Uh, I that I had not done a thousand more. Even now I curse the day, and yet I think few come within the compass of my curse. You know, this is Shake. He's such a villain, right? He's a villain. I wish I'd done more. As kill a man or else devise his death, ravish a maid or plot the way to do it, accuse some innocent and forswear myself, set deadly enmity between two friends. He goes on and on and on. Let not your sorrow die, though I am dead. But I have done a thousand dreadful things as willingly as one would kill a fly. There's that fly part, right? And nothing grieves me hardly indeed, but I cannot do ten thousand more. Bring down the devil, for he must not die so sweet a death as hanging presently. I love Aaron here. You know, Aaron, Aaron kind of, I like this character a little bit. You know, he has that humanistic part with the child. But he's like, if there be devils, would I were a devil to live and burn an everlasting fire? So I might have your company in hell, but to torment you with my bitter tongue. You know, he's, he's, he's cursing to the, to the end here, right? Sir, stop his mouth, let him speak no more. My lord, there is a messenger from Rome, desirous to be admitted to your presence. Let him come nearer. Uh, what's the news? Lord Lucius and your princes of the Goths, the Roman emperor greets you all by me, and for he understands you are in arms, he craves a parley at your father's house. And here's going to be the banquet, right? Willing you to demand your hostages, and they shall be immediately delivered. What says our general? Amelius, let the emperor give his pledge unto my father and my uncle Marcus, and we will come away, march away. So that's the end. So they, they capture Aaron. Aaron tells them everything that happened, and we're setting up the final scene, cup two scenes, which are uh, wrap up the bloody revenge and the end of Titus Andronicus.